Sharon Bove at Nissan Whistleblower. Well, I was that in 2009. I was doing an international relocation. I was considered the best. I worked with the top Nissan executives. Well, and everybody that Greg Kelly wanted me to work for. You see, I had played tennis with his wife, Dee. And um, I found out about a lot of corruption. So when Carlos Tavares became my client, when he became president of Nissan North America, he asked me about issues and I told him the truth. And he liked the truth. I met with him privately many times. Today, Greg Kelly is pending trial. And if you Google them, you see my picture, Greg Kelly. Greg Kelly was jailed along with Carlos Gowen. They are gonna have their trial next year. I, after whistleblowing, the state of Tennessee decided they were, I was arrested three times. You see, Nissan took a lot of money from the state of Tennessee. A lot of politicians got a lot of money from Nissan and people wanted me gone. They wanted me dead. I talked to Bruce Bateman at the Franklin uh, Police Department and instead of l investigating them, they carried out sworn out warrants by Nissan execs to have me arrested. And I actually went to jail three times on trumped up charges. I ended up going to like a full jury trial. My lawyer got compromised, supposedly. Can't talk about that. But at the end of the day, I was vindicated from two of the things. And then it was a he said, see, she said. And of course, you know, a jury of people from Tennessee, you know, believe the Nissan exec and not me. I mean, why would they believe me? I was just a relocation consultant that was actually telling the truth. But you see, I had a death threat and a death threat said that I would be, leaks would be killed. A person that directly worked for Greg Kelly sent me a death threat and it's on my Blackberry. This Blackberry has been hidden for about a decade because Nobody wanted to see the proof that Greg Kelly's people sent me a death threat. Nobody. There was a RICO meeting in 2011. People, the feds were thinking that maybe the corruption in Tennessee, you know, politicians, business, everything. It was RICO, racketeering. And I went to a meeting, other people were there. We gave our information and RICO never happened. They thought the courts were part of it. They were being investigated. Nothing happened. Well, you know what? Things are gonna happen. And this BlackBerry and the data on the BlackBerry, the government had all the data until the Snowden thing came out. Then they had to delete all the data. When they deleted all that data, it kind of hurt future investigations. But luckily, we've got the proof. The proof that Greg Kelly, one of his people, sent me a death threat. Greg Kelly is pending trial. People are saying Greg Kelly is innocent. Greg Kelly is not innocent. He led a good boy, a good old boy network along with Mark Stout, Marlon Chapman, and many other people at Nissan North America. I do not believe he was that close to Carlos Goen until after I whistle blew to Carlos Tavares. At that point, I believe Greg Kelly and Carlos Goen started to do a lot of deals together. You see, when I did relocation, I was asked to steer my clients to homes that were owned by people in the good old boy network, homes that were being rented out for a lot more than what they should have been. And I was complaining that these people were getting ripped off. The people at Nissan were getting ripped off and the people at Nissan wanted me to be quiet. And I'm like, but you used taxpayer money, Tennessee taxpayer money, ECD money to relocate. That's my money you're using for these overpriced leases for your international executives. And I stood up and I got jailed. Well, now that top Nissan people are getting jailed, the corrupt ones. And Carlos Tavares is the incoming CEO of Chrysler. I've lived through hell. I have... I lost everything. My marriage ended. I haven't seen my child because people had to discredit me. You see, Carlos Ghosn was one of the people that helped the Clintons with Jeffrey Epstein with the Clinton Global Initiative.
We're not just talking about corruption and bad spending in Tennessee. We're talking about a global good old boy network. And Carlos Ghosn and Jeffrey Epstein both helped the Clintons with the global initiative. It's all there. And these things are going to come out and it's going to be ugly. And the corruption is real. And if I were Greg Kelly, I don't think I spent, Greg Kelly was at my 40th birthday party. I do not think Greg Kelly had anything to do with Jeffrey Epstein, but Carlos Ghosn did. Let's talk about Haiti. Well, we'll talk about that later. Anyways, Greg Kelly, you are in a ton of doo-doo. Your people did send me threat threats. This is an ancient Blackberry. Luckily, people have helped me. Thank you, Jesus.